Hi there folks, welcome back to the Evernandy Fishing Channel. I hope you're doing really well. It's coming up to the last week of May and it's sunny. I know, and it's really <laughs> hot actually as well. Yeah, it's a real toasty one, so we've decided to come out and do a little bit of dry fly fishing just for a few hours on our local stretch of the River Dove. But we're doing something slightly different today, aren't we? We're having a really fun day testing a new rod out. Uh, it's really cool, it's really funky, and very technical, and it is a very short <laughs> baby brook, Sierra baby brook. What is it? Two feet, three feet? No, it's three feet, seven inches. So this is something that those of you who subscribe to the channel would have seen once before. We did try and film a vlog with the baby brook during the grayling season and it, it just didn't work. It was as simple as that. Not only was it very hard to use with a multi-nymph rig, but it was also pretty hard to cast when it was howling with yeah, wind on that yeah. day. So we kind of canned that one with the idea that we'd come back on a day like today and be able to fish it properly on some dry flies. And today is that day. So what does it come with? I know it comes, I saw that there is a, uh, it comes like in a proper little rod case, doesn't yeah, it? Yeah, it comes in its own case, yep. Yeah. You get the three feet, seven inch, three weight rod. You get the reel, the track two, three to four reel. Has the line come with it? The it? line's already loaded up on there. Yeah, it's back in, everything's on there. Even comes with a tapered leader nail knotted to it. So all you've got to do is tie a fly on the end, get out and have some fun with it. So obviously it's, it's a fairly weird configuration, but it's something that I think could work really, really well in conditions like this. Uh, before we're going to start using it though, we need you people in there in the internet land to hit subscribe on the channel please you just wiggled your rod at our subscribers if you don't subscribe to the channel i will continue to wiggle my <laughs> rod at you you don't want that <laughs> it's a very different channel for that stuff please subscribe to the channel uh, and let us know at the end of the vlog what you thought of our performance with the sierra baby brook one thing you do need to throw in here just a little disclaimer uh, I'm a full-time guide and the people who make this rod, Sierra, also support my business. So if you want to take anything we take, join this vlog with a pinch of salt. Fair enough. Do we it. try and be as honest as we can with you guys. We're if it's rubbish, here. we'll let you know. At the end of the day, we're just here to have some fun and catch some fish on a baby brook. Speaking of catching some fish, we're going to give it a go? I think we should go and give it a go. Sweet. So typically, as we're about to start fishing, the wind gets up, but we have just seen a fish rise on the far bank that looks like he's chomping mayflies. So that's what I've gone for. A little Fully mill, no he can do the olive red one. I'm not particularly happy about casting this thing in such a strong wind with it being three feet seven inches. I think it's gonna be an interesting experience, but at least we've got a fish to test the baby will come first up. Let's go. Righty, so I'll just say now I have extended the tapered leader that comes with the baby brook by a little bit. Put some 5x on the end just to just to put a bit more distance between the fly line and the fish. Uh, it comes with a nail knotted uh, tapered leader. I've just put a little bit of UV knot sense on the nail knot. Just to help it go through the guides a wee bit easier. Righty, let's get going here. The fish is right on the far bank, so this is going to be a big old cast. <laughs> this is going to be exciting. Come on, baby brook. Okay, well, it's definitely a long way short, but I managed to get a line out at least. I'm going to let that hang around there for a second, just in case there's another fish down there. But I'm definitely sure I need another another rod length, I reckon. Let's give that little wiggle. Sometimes with the mayfly, if you just give it a little bit of animation, you'll draw a fish up that wasn't necessarily rising first, so it's always worth just giving it a go. Let's try this again. Okay, that's a bit further over. That might be all right, actually, that. Let's try that. Oh my goodness, I'm having to really stretch forward because, because the rod's so short, it's very, very difficult to control the drift. So, fully stretched out trying to get a good drift. Uh, don't know about that one. Oh, got him! I was just about to say, I don't know about that one, and he absolutely launched it. Oh my goodness. Okay, right. Three foot seven inch rod. What have we got? <laughs> Let's try and get him on the reel. The reel has got a drag system. The reel's got a drag system, so I can play him off the reel a little bit. Oh my god, this is terrifying. Ugh. Let's turn that up a little bit. Oh, he's going nuts. It's a brownie. Oh, another rise over there. Wow, is he in already? Surely not. He can't be ready now. Oh my goodness. Okay, this is where you this way you have to remember you need to get a bit more leader through the rod rings. Are you ready already? Oh goodness! Yeah! <laughs> Hey, first fish on the baby brook, and it's a much bigger fish than I was expecting. Crikey, that was fun. So that was a pretty good kind of first cast test out for the baby brook. Wasn't expecting a fish of this size. The fish is half the length of the rod. Righty, let's get the first 
victim of the baby brook back home. There he goes. That was really freaking cool. I wasn't expecting to fish quite that early. I certainly wasn't expected to hit the tape given my record on recent vlogs. So one out of one is about as good as it possibly can get for me. I'm really interested though to see how IB gets on the baby book. Let's see how you get on IB. Right, so I think it's my turn now. I'm not gonna lie, I am a little bit scared because I haven't even played with this in the garden or anything. And now giving the big fly and the wind, I am terrified dying slowly inside but I am dying to also have a cast at that fish that's rising over there. Let's have a go. Oh my god. Why do I feel like this is not gonna be easy? You don't like though easy do we? You like it as difficult as possible. Oh my god. <laughs> it feels so weird. It genuinely feels so weird. I'm used to like 11 foot rods, not three foot. I can't cast this. I can't cast this. I have no idea how I'm gonna do this. This is so hard. Yep, tag the bank. It's like me casting the fly for the first time. True story. It's so difficult to work that line out or get the cast. myself and is in the danger zone I'm in the danger zone this is literally like me picking up the rod the first time I'm not even lying on my end it doesn't help that Andy made it look so easy I can tell you right now it's not easy get anywhere near the fish right so the fish is there the problem that I have it's miles away I will never gonna be able to get to that fish not with this rod or my casting right so the fish is still miles away and I still can't cast this if I die by a mayfly it's the way I want it to go yeah I'm about a hundred miles away from the fish. And I think the mayfly is in me. Again, I am about a kilometer away from the fish. Not for myself though. God, this is gonna be a long day. Not a single bit of line went out through my um, fingertips at the moment. And I have the fly in my back. Try number 5,070, whatever. Was it just right up, the, up against the bank? Woohoo! Actually made a cast. That was close. 
to the fish. Yes, 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 yes. Oh, what's up? <laughs> the fly is off. Who ties bad knots on the flies? Not me. Did you like the little run though? Little panic. Yes, 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 yes. Oh well, I need uh, a fly. So I haven't killed myself with a mayfly in my head or in my back or on my bum or in my arm or in finger or in my net or on my shoulder. Where else did I caught the mayfly? Back. Did we say back? Yeah. Yeah, it yeah. got back as well. A couple of times on the back. Once to the point where I couldn't reach it and they had to come and get it off of me. Uh, it hasn't been easy. But at the same time, I would suggest if you have a chance to play with a rod like that, do it because it does reveal all your bad habits on your cast that you can get away with if you have a normal outfit. Um, with that thing, there's no place at all for error, is there? No, like, there's nowhere you, to hide. You have to do it everything as per the book or otherwise you're going to end up like me and have flies everywhere and clearly there's a little bit of work to be done on my side. But it has gone a little bit quiet with the rising fish, although Andy has spotted a few rising that are hopefully a bit closer and I don't have to, don't have to cast miles out and hit myself in the process or Andy or the camera, which did happen. But let's have a go. It is difficult though, isn't it? Yeah, it's hard. I think I don't think the wind was helping in the spot that you're in. I think that was making it extra difficult, particularly given it's the first time you've picked it up. It's not supposed to be an easy rod to work with. Uh, yeah, that was a big rice. <laughs> it's not supposed to be an easy rod to use. As Yeva says, it's supposed to lay bare any casting faults you might have and help you improve them. And I do think that during the course of the time you use it, you're going to get better with it. So yeah. I think the only thing you can do is just keep having a go, keep reflecting on what it is you're doing wrong, and we'll try and fix it. Let's hope so. Righty, so fish rising just over here up against a bit of a log jam. Very gentle sips. We're assuming it's not mayfly, so I've changed to a I've changed to a little foam done in a 16. Hopefully the wind's on the side and we can put one in the net because it's been a wee while, Abby, hasn't it? Yes, it has. Just inch my way across here. I think I can still see the fish. Bit of a slot behind me to throw the back cast. I'm going to have to throw it off the, off the backhand again, but that fish eats a lot. That fish eats a lot. This is a, this is a chance, this. It's a wee bit short, but he has fed there. Not that time. It's just getting it with a three foot seven rod. That's got a chance. That should rise this fish. Mine should be next. Got him, got him. Thought I'd got that one right. Oh, he's going that way. Ooh. Right, let's get things under control a bit. <laughs> it's a bit of a panic once you hook one. <laughs> you don't really know what to do. That's a rainbow. It's a rainbow. It's a rainbow. Panic. I'm on, yeah, three and a half pound tip it. I've got the drag set about right. The nice thing about this is it comes with a drag system. So in theory, as long as you don't get something really wrong, you shouldn't, you shouldn't get snapped off. As, lo as long as you've got your tippet set right. No, I'll let it. There he is. They talk about bending the rod when you've got a fish. I don't know how much more you can bend it than this. Come on, baby brook, we've got this. Come on, baby brook. We've got this. Come on. It's too early yet, he's not ready, surely. He's not ready. Is he? Is he? Yeah! <laughs> That's really cool. What a fish. I wasn't, <laughs> I wasn't expecting the first one to be as big as it was, but the second one's even bigger. Super lively fish, a real biggie. On the baby brook that's just gone in the water. Let's get him back. I need to go rescue my net as well. There he goes. I beat, I've got to run and get my net before it <laughs> floats away totally. <laughs> so it might seem like it started to happen a little bit. We saw, we saw another fish that's rising quite regularly on like those little bastards downstream from us. 
So I'm going to give it a go because I'm not a quitter, even though it is really hard with it. And I really, really want my rod, my normal rod. But I want to see how it is to play the fish on the tiny little rod. So let's see. I think Andy is giving the rod for me for the rest of the day. Am I right, Andy? Maybe. We'll <laughs> let's have a go. So many minnows in the river. So many minnows in the river. That's good. Yep. I think that's a brown trout. Oh my god, that feels so weird. Not gonna lie. It's such a soft rod. That's a nice brownie. You go for it, mate. You go for it. Yeah. Oh my God, it's a beautiful brownie. <laughs> it's a gorgeous brownie. Look at that. Okay. Let's have a look. Baby brook power. Just not my power or my poor wader power because I stuck that fly in into them a number of times. I'm not gonna lie, I am very, very pleased with a beautiful wild brownie. I mean, the colors on him, it's just gorgeous. The white thin, look at that. And we're gonna put him back. I feel very lucky that I have a very patient fishing guide with me in my life because I don't think I would have stick to it. I would have gone, nope, going back to my car, that's it. But it helps if you have someone with a cool, a cool, clear head to give you some good advice and fix your casting technique so you're actually able to make a cast with a very short, silly rod. So there's no secret, especially to you, Andy, that I get really grumpy if I go a long time without catching fish. No, you do not. That might happen sometimes, might happen sometimes, and I was getting a little bit grumpy and frustrated. But the fact that you really struggled after you took the rod and we couldn't figure out what to fly, like nothing was taking the fly, made me feel a little bit better. Yeah, so yeah, I mean, they're slightly different struggles, weren't they? This is obviously the first time you'll have used something like this, whereas I've used kind of micro practice rods and stuff like that before, so I've probably got a bit of an advantage here. But yeah, in terms of what was hatching, that was really weird. We had fish that would like rise once every three or four minutes and they'd wallop what I assume is a mayfly because they don't really rise like that to anything else. And then you wouldn't see them again for another five, yeah. six, seven minutes, so you couldn't really line them up. Whereas we've moved spot and all of a sudden we found a couple of fish that were just, you know, rising regularly you could line them up you could work out what they were taking and it turned out they wanted a size 18 foam done both of them they weren't hard fish to catch were they no no they weren't at which all. just kind of shows that actually if you're in one spot and you just feel like things aren't quite right or if you're not getting a hold on what's happening just go and have a look somewhere else for a few minutes see if the same thing's happening there if not it might be a local thing it, there's always going to be a different opportunity which is really interesting because we haven't moved that far upstream we're only 100 meters away from where we were earlier but and the situation here is entirely different yeah it feels a lot more straightforward doesn't it uh, on the subject of straightforward give me your straightforward straight talking opinion <laughs> on the baby book so far it's very unusual for me that's for sure it's so unusual first of all when you cast i don't know if i could do this all day honestly it's like a it's like a proper workout, isn't it? Like, <laughs> it, it is like a workout, so uh, I do really miss my normal rod. I think as a fun go out and play or perhaps even see your casting mistakes, it's quite a good idea to have it because I definitely now know that I need to do my back cast a lot higher than I was. And also with me changing angle, I've noticed that I've changed angles yeah. quite, quite often, hence me constantly whacking myself in the head or in the back or in my waders or on my bum or Andy or anywhere else pretty much because I managed all of those today. Yeah, you managed all of those within about five minutes at one point. Yeah. I mean, the, the thing is, I guess you've only ever really properly got chance to use the setups that I've set up for us with the 10 foot rod slightly overweighted with the long leader. And I think you can probably appreciate now just how 
how much easier, easier that is, setup yeah. Yeah, makes you, you it for you to make these casts. You can pick up so much line with a longer rod and it's not a problem. This one, you basically have to have three inches out and that's it. If it had anything longer than that, you have to work out so much. But like you said, it has highlighted a few areas that we had talked about in the past, yeah, to be fair, particularly yeah. the back cast, that all of a sudden you can start to, it, you know, it, it shows you what you're doing wrong. Rather than someone having to tell you, all of a sudden you'll start hitting stuff behind you a bit more or you start hitting yourself a bit more. So it's, uh, it's very good in that sense, it, very good. It will make you a better caster. Yeah. I, I really think you're going to be a better caster at the end of today than you were at the start. Because with the normal rods, when, you do, when we do use them, you can afford to have the mistakes. The rod will do so much work for you. That's why we have these great new technologies that will bring, uh, build fantastic rods. Yeah. With something like this, there's no, no room for error at all. If you're shit at casting, you ain't making that cast. Well, fortunately, it turns out you aren't shit at casting. It turns out you're pretty good at casting and you could have fished pretty much first cast and rose it, hooked it and landed it and what a beauty it was. And talking about rising fish, I'm seeing a few more rising fish so I think I need to get back on the water and stop waffling. Absolutely, shut up Ivy. <laughs> <laughs> right, so kind of the last 10 or 15 minutes or so I think Ivy's given me the rod back which is very kind. Got a couple of sippers down at the back here, it's going to be pretty tough I think but well they're still like they've still got a chance. It's a wee bit short, it's a wee bit short, Andy. That should be enough now. That's better. That should be pretty good. Got him, got him. Oh God, he's come towards me, panic. <laughs> Let's see what happens here. Whoa. Big fish. It's a live wire. Uh, I don't know. I don't know if it's that big. He's just pretty excited about life. Nah, he's not that big. Woof. Oh. Yeah. I don't know what happened there. I uh, no, it wasn't that big. It wasn't that big. I'm not really sure what's gone wrong there. Played that right. I haven't changed the drag since the rainbow. Have you? I could make the cast. I could hook the fish. I could play it for a bit, but yeah, I just wonder if that knot's got stuck somewhere. Bugger. So, IB, opinions on the baby book, the three foot seven inch three weight fly outfit? It's all right. I wouldn't be taking it fishing with me again <laughs> for a play somewhere, like just for fun. Yeah, absolutely. Not for like going actually fishing, fishing. Well, it's not the kind of outfit that is purpose designed to put more fish in the net, is it? It's as simple as that. This hasn't been designed specifically to fish with. It, it really is a piece of kit to help you iron out the floors and you cast in something to play within the garden a little bit, something that might be suitable on smaller rivers and stuff like that. I've, I've actually really enjoyed using it, but I oh, quite yeah. like, yeah, I quite like the challenge of this kind of stuff because it's different. I like catching fish. <laughs> As a, as, a, as a caster it makes you rethink what you're doing and it makes you concentrate more on certain technical aspects of your cast rather than just taking for granted that 10 foot four weight rod and being able to bottom a cast out this thing actually gets your gears going a little you know bit what? and I'm makes gonna, you work i'm gonna kiss my rod when i get back <laughs> now, I, th I think it's really really cool and uh, i tell you what the line floated all day did really really well i just think it's quite a cool thing as i say it's not going to put more fish in your net if you're looking for an outfit to go fishing with day in day out this isn't it if you're looking for an outfit to have a little bit of a play with something to use in the garden uh, something to go out and use every now and again and more specifically something to help you improve as a caster i would highly recommend that because i think that's a really really fun piece of kit i would agree on that note we need to say sorry for the disappointment in this video and the lack of fish and sorry for my bad casting but i hope you had some laugh at me casting into myself yeah you hit yourself a few times we'll uh, go and see how many bruises there are <laughs> Guys, thank you very much for watching the video. If you've enjoyed it, please press the like button. We'd really appreciate that. Uh, let us know your opinions on the baby book, specifically how IB has handled it. Don't do that. <laughs> uh, subscribe to the channel if you're not already. We'd appreciate that too. And we'll catch you guys again very, very soon for some more fishing and stuff. Bye-bye, guys. Take care, folks. Bye. Bye-bye.